take some pictures in the, each engineering notebook, right, of the hydraulic brakes. You're going to want to add later a picture of those brakes that are mounted to the bike. Because that's really what they look yeah. like, right? Here you've got, you know what I mean? You can look at form and whatnot and back here, but you also want to look at the contrast of the color of the bike itself and things like that, right? The four-course Project Lead the Way engineering program is just a great opportunity for kids for two reasons, really. First, uh, it's a very engaging form of instruction that brings together math, science, technology, and students really see the connections and the interdisciplinary uh, concepts that go along with studying engineering, and it just gives them an extra motivation to learn and understand why these concepts are important. The second reason is uh, engineering and engineering thinking is a highly employable skill. And at the high school level in the Bethlehem Area School District, we're really focusing on career pathways and making sure students are career and college ready. And engineering is a perfect example of that type of skill. So Project Lead the Way Engineering in the Bethlehem Area School District is a progression of four courses from the freshman year through the senior year in both of our high schools that teach not only technical skills related to engineering, but also a whole lot on design process, problem solving, working together, and the idea of real engineering atmosphere, where they're using the, teal, the tools and the interpersonal skills so that they learn over time that in some cases it's not just about the grade, it's not me versus you, it's more about us versus the problem, like in a real engineering design atmosphere, so that no matter what they choose to do in life, whether it's STEM or not, they'll have those soft skills going forward for, for their lives. What you really see increase is the time management, the interpersonal skills, the problem solving. Um, really in those students who really take to it and you can see they, they, really, they really want to be in the lab, they'll spend extra time in here. And you'll really see what they do is they'll be able to identify, diagnose, dissect a problem, know what tools, materials and resources they need, including other people, to help solve that problem. And what you have there is somebody who's really ready to move on and they've got a leg up in any undergraduate program anywhere. The students love the courses mainly because it's hands-on. They're building things, they're creating things, and what I tell the students is what I like about engineering is that you start with an idea, you design your idea, you build it, you test it, and then you can see, did it do what I wanted it to do? And to me that's a very satisfying part of being an engineer is being able to check your work. Does it do what I want it to do? Um, so they like the hands-on aspect. The 3D modeling skills, they love that. They, they will work on, they will use those skills throughout their college career and engineering career. I think it comes down to application. These types of courses, it's very easy to take what you learn in a classroom setting and apply it to, to a design, an object, something else that you've learned, um, something that you've built. So, for instance, in Principles of Engineering, you learn about how gears work and gear ratios. They take that, they design a gear system on VEX, in VEX, and then they measure it and they see, is it doing what I thought it would do mathematically? So they take scenarios and they model it mathematically and they check the work. And that's, to me, that's a very satisfying and useful skill that you'll have for the rest of your life. I'm actually going into electronics engineering and uh, these courses have allowed me to uh, experience multiple uh, engineering majors, uh, engineering careers, and I feel overly prepared for uh, what, what's coming, the workload, the, uh, the work ethic, all of that, and all that stuff, because um, these courses have just depicted very well what real engineering is. Personally, I want to be an, like an engineer or go into architecture when I grow up, and I know that taking this course is going to prepare me so much, and my teacher has already told me how prepared we are already, learning with all this CAD stuff and all the, you know, like procedures and everything that we, we need to know. I just know that I'm in good hands taking this course. The thing I like the most, I think, about it is it's really hands-on. Like, in a normal classroom, a lot of it is note-taking and book work. And in these courses, it's a lot of it's hands-on. Like, you're kind of doing, like, there's a difference between learning and doing and there's more and this is more about doing it and I really like that. I've loved how creative it is 
and how much independent time we get to work on our own projects and to kind of like go away from just taking notes and like studying but to work like hands-on and to really like build stuff and work on the computers to like really get that like hands-on education type of learning.